Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles Flea Market Finds. Uh, this is the uh, final batch from the Independence Day show uh, up at Spirit Lake, Iowa. Um, brought these from a variety of dealers. Uh, most of it came from a dealer uh, in a building on the other side of the, uh, the flea market, but, but kind of a bit of a hodgepodge of stuff. I've got... Um, this didn't come with the DVDs. This came with from a different dealer. Uh, and it's, well, I don't know how you would call it. So the seal's broken. Okay, so the plastic, but it's never been out. It's never been used. And it's still got the tag. Um, I don't know. I'm going to do some research. I'm not up on this collectible VHS stuff right now. Uh, but this was a buck. So I thought, well, for a dollar, can't really get hurt. Uh, I paid 20 for this, uh, probably not my best buy of the day. Uh, I do like old pocket watches that, that actually work. Um, and I don't know if you can see it. Let me see on there. There we go. Uh, it's a 15 jewel. Uh, the main spring's been overwound, of course. So it will tick for a little bit, but it, it does need some TLC and some attention on it. And you can see it stop there, so it's... Just needs a little bit of just needs a little bit of help somewhere down the line, and obviously the uh, the crystal and the hands, the second hand. So it's a fixer upper. Oh, he's gonna look and see who made it here. I think it's a South Bend. Yep, South Bend Watch Company, South Bend, Indiana, fifteen jewels. Uh, so I haven't done any research. Usually you can look these up and you can you can know right away you know when it was made basically uh, the face is good the porcelain face on it it's a little dirty but it's not cracked or chipped so that's that's nice I'll uh, it'll be expensive to get it fixed but it might be worth it here's another turtles whoops I was afraid of that I've got to go through I'm, I think everything's here but the box top is open and let me get those in so they're safe so, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, hip movie cards, but it's pack B, and so it only contains these cards, so it's not a, it's not a full set. And I don't know how many packs they had, I guess, you know, at least two, but there may have been more, I don't know. But again, that was, uh, that was like five bucks, I think it was, so, you know, I thought, well, what the heck. These are really cool. Uh, Wells Blue Bunny, Ice Cream Capital of the World, the Mars, Iowa. Um, my dad ran a, a diner at Million Dollar Corners out in the country up, up there in, uh, I think it was Sioux County. And uh, he knew Mike Wells Sr. Uh, they were about the same age, and he used to order ice cream from him and stuff. I, I never met him myself, uh, but always had a soft spot for Wells Blue Bunny. And this is the really old logo. I've never seen these before, and uh, if anybody's got any info on the age, I'm guessing, I'm guessing 60s, maybe late 50s. I don't know. I really don't. This is this is older than me, and I never saw this stuff as a kid or remember this logo. Uh, but unused, really nice shape. I don't think they're worth much. You know, it, it's not something that I don't think is worth a fortune, but uh, local history and just fun stuff and decorative stuff I thought was pretty cool. So this, uh, I've got three of these. Oops, oh, that one got crunched, darn it. Uh, Des Moines, Iowa Girls High School uh, State Basketball Tournament Pennant. It's a mini pennant or half-size pennant, actually. Uh, 1965, great shape, never been used, um, just something locally, sells pretty well. This is the old 6-on-6, uh, six six, so if you're an old uh, old duffer, you remember the old 6-on-6 six six basketball. Uh, so I usually pick up the programs and things. Never had the, uh, never had the pennants. Uh, got three of them, so I thought that was pretty neat. This is really cool, something I don't see a lot in the Midwest. And that is a um, cruise line. This is the SS America, and this is uh, the deck plans for it. Again, I have not looked this up, but usually the, uh, the cruise ship stuff from this era is a really good seller. And you can tell it, it's got the cruise list, the fold-out maps on it. This thing's really big. Um, 
so I don't know. I don't know. I didn't pay a lot for it. A couple, three, four dollars maybe. So I thought I'd take a risk. Same here. Um, I'd love old magazines, especially when they have historical photos. So here we've got, uh, you know, Native American uh, woman on the front. Uh, Indian fair of her tribe on its reservation near Mayetta, Kansas. Mayetta? Well, I might have mangled that, sorry. This is from 1930. Uh, so great pick. And that historical stuff sells pretty well. Here's one that was just kind of a fun cover. It's a McCall's, which I don't have a ton of luck selling those normally, but this has all this uh, craft stuff. I don't know, might have paper dolls, but usually it's just clothing patterns and fashion for kids and uh, stuff like that. You get little little fun things to do and, and the art. So I do get, uh, I do usually get stuff sold from the, uh, the fashion mags of the era. So we'll see what happens there. Now... Now I got more DVDs. So this is the rest of that. Uh, well, here let me do this first because we've seen enough DVDs in the last video. So let me do let me do these other things a second. History and triumphs of the 19th century, together with the lines and portraits of the world's great men. So you know nothing, nothing biased there. A little bit of a binding issue. Um, but, you know, it's got some photo plates. It is not a light book. This thing, this thing weighs a ton. Uh, let me see what the copyright date was on it. I passed that. I should have. And there's a really nice, really nice color plate there. Napoleon's Return from uh, Elba. Uh, let's see. It looks like it was uh, printed by John C. Winston Company, Philly, Chicago, Toronto. And I'm trying to find there should be a copyright date in here somewhere I know it's not new uh, there it is and it's right at 1900 so at this uh, filming 122 years old so that's really cool here's an oops somebody's that Cherokeean Cherokeean I don't know 1920 Gotta tell you, I, I mangled that word uh, title. I apologize. Uh, 1920, and it looks like it's uh, Cherokee High School. And I don't know if this is. I'm trying to figure out if it's Cherokee, Iowa, or another town, or what it is. It's it's definitely a yearbook. Um, so I've got to do just a little little more research on this, but but really cool really neat you can see the fashion of the day you know they got the bows on the on the ladies on the formals and the the big necktie almost an ascot stuff like that um so yeah i mean it, it's pretty cool a lot of history there i just gotta figure out for sure where where it's from well here let me see here I might have it in one of the ads. Oh, yep. See it down there? The bottom right? Lumber and Coal, Cherokee, Iowa. So I was right. I kind of took a guess that it was from uh, Northwest Iowa, being where I bought it from. So really neat. Uh, these, I don't know. They're old. It's Knott's Berry Farm in Ghost Town. Um, you know, definitely, yeah, it's the California. I'm trying to figure. I think there was a year on here, but now I can't see it. Um, I think it was in the 50s, if I remember right on that. So I don't know if I, they were cheap, but I don't know if I helped myself on that or not. Chevrolet flat rate, 1949 uh, passenger cars and trucks. Body flat rate schedule, 49 passenger cars and trucks. This, this was, uh, I don't think those Chevy manuals are worth a ton. When I first saw this, then all oh, that cover's ripped. But there's an ad on the front, so if you open it up, the cover's actually pretty nice. Got some problems in the corner. 1934. And that, I don't know if that was in here or not, but it's, it's not a page. It was a flyer, kind of like this. You could send that in for an order. So, I don't know. It might not be quite complete, and it's got the damage on the back, but still, 
Native American art, 1934. I thought that was cool. Watkins, 1936. This is not a reprint. Sometimes you see these, and these have been reprinted for uh, collectors. This isn't it. This, this is the real deal right here. So that is really, really cool on that. And here's another one. Swamp Right Almanac Dream Book. And uh, again, you got the Native American uh, women on the front. And I was just looking for the date. This was another 1931. And again, not a reprint. This, this is the real deal. Um, so there are collectors for that. I'm going to go back here just a second to the DVDs. And we'll get these out of the, out of the way. So I've got The Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Season 1, Volume 1, Season 1, Volume 2. I did kind of like this series. Season 2, Volume 1. And let's see, Season 2, Volume 2. And i got to go digging, digging more out here. And this is Season 3, Volume 1, Season 3, Volume 2. Season, I think this is four right here. Oh, got to get in the right order. Season four, volume one. Hard to believe it actually ran that long. Most of those sci-fi shows didn't. And season four, volume two. And again, a little, little bit unusual. Not one that gets uh, remade a lot. So should be fun. Should be worth something. Uh, Kolchak's always good. They, there are a number of editions of these, though which keeps the price down. Uh, and I think, is that the movie? Or is that the, no, I think that's the series. There was two movies and then they had the, the series. Uh, Feast Unrated, Feast 2, again, if you're into that uh, gory, sloppy, schlocky stuff, and, and people are, so they should sell. Uh, that's the series, not the movie. Uh, both of them sell fairly well, though. And here's the rest of that combat. I had some in the first box. So here's uh, here's the rest of it. That's all season what? Season 2 and 3. They split the seasons basically in the story arcs. And there we go. Uh, season 1, Campaign 1, Campaign 2, and Season 2, Mission 1. So I got the whole run of combat on DVD. That's, that's always a good series. And then we'll finish up here with uh, just some more paper. So Iowa State Visha 1940 Visha program. Got the Campanile on there. Um, they don't really do the Visha anymore. Had one too many riots I guess. So, uh, But the old programs still sell well. And this is... Let's see if I can get it out here. It's a little... It's in there pretty good. There we go. So it's a Scenic Land USA trip guide and picture book. And you can see it's a 1960s. I can't remember the exact date on this thing, if it's in here or not. But really good shape. Um, I don't see a lot of Chevron stuff. And it's not quite as good a seller as the Mobile Gas. But it's got the Black Hills, so it's, it's local. Well, not super local. Regional, I guess, from where I'm at. But the Black Hill stuff is somewhat collectible on the old uh, old tourist items. And we got uh, Sports of Field 1936. Not the greatest cover ever, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's got it's got some creasing there, but they they do sell uh, the old hunting and fishing pre World War II sell. After that, I have a lot of trouble moving them out. Um, 1951 Motor Trend. I don't know. I don't think it's worth a lot. These used to sell really well, but not not too much anymore. So it just kind of came along for the ride. Uh, this is newer, but Sioux County, Iowa Farm Directory. Um, a lot of genealogists love these things. Uh, to be honest with you, they do have some pictures, but they have, you know, the names and locations of the farmland owners. And uh, you know, they also have some old ads which, uh, you know, people like that too. But really, they just like to see the, uh, you know, the family name in there. Uh, and there's the, uh, there's the plat map for the townships. And there's the county. 
boy, that's a, there we go. That's Sioux County there, right along the South Dakota border. So those usually sell really, really well. Uh, this is the Owl, 1930. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Published by the senior class of the Brilliant High School, Brilliant, Wisconsin. How it made it over to, uh, to Iowa, I don't know. Obviously, somebody moved uh, probably from Wisconsin to Iowa or Minnesota or South Dakota up there in the tri-state region and brought it with them. Uh, but again, just, a, just an old yearbook with a lot of history in it. Um, even some historical societies are picking this up just for names and information because, uh, you know, a lot of those records from that era just were, you know, lost or discarded after a while. Another tourism book. Um, this is from India. The old travel stuff, especially with like the Art Deco kind of theme, and that's 1934. Uh, fortunately, it's got that chip. Uh, but the Art Deco style... Um, travel stuff magazines brochures uh, pretty good usually have good luck selling them seven seas magazine I've never had one I've never had one 1916 four years after the Titanic went down and again the cruise ship and vacation stuff from this era is pretty good they really like uh, they really like the old ship pictures uh, a lot of historical information again and in, uh, in this type of magazine, uh, old ads. The you know, if you wanted a Crow L cart, thirty it was only seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. I've never heard of that. And there's the mats, which I have heard of. So you know, just just a lot of interesting different stuff in those magazines. Um, this is one. They used to sell. They don't sell as much anymore. But it's it's Joan Crawford. And it's not in great shape, but I did get it pretty cheap. It's it's pretty beat up. It's 1931. See that up there? Uh, so with the Joan Crawford cover and article, you know, it's like, well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a risk on the on that because that's that's pretty classic. I I see very very little um, Joan Crawford stuff. Uh, here's another. This is an atlas, a small atlas, not the big giant plat book atlas. Uh, from the Alton Democrat in Alton, Iowa, which is a very small town. Might even be unincorporated now, I'm not sure. I haven't been through there for a few years. Uh, official county paper, $2 the year. So, put out by their, uh, they must have had a paper. It's got the ads in it. Pretty sure the, uh, the elevators or grain bins are still there. First National Bank of Hall, which uh, I think is still there. I know they got a couple banks there. My grandparents were at the State Bank, I believe. And again, just a plant book, but it's got all the names, all the farm plots of the owners. Um, so gosh, you know, that's again, uh, pretty good stuff on there. I was trying to find a year actually, and now I'm not... Uh, Thought it had a year on it, but now I'm not seeing it, so I'll have to figure that out. It's old, though. That much I can tell you. It's on the back. Sometimes the ads will have one for, you know, buy here in 19, 19 whatever, but I'm not, I'm not seeing that either. But it's, I'll have to do something on it. Anyway, and I've got one more piece left. <clears throat> I wish it was better shape. It is rough. The Hawkeye, but you can see it... Uh, I don't know, something mashed it or whatever. So I'm going to try and be careful. It's from the uh, high school library in Boone, Iowa, which is about uh, 45 minutes from, from where I uh, am. It's northwest of me. Uh, presented by the State University of Iowa. And this is their 1911 yearbook. So, I've had other yearbooks from the U of I, but I've not had one this far back. You can see it's got a little bit of a, again, binding issue. I didn't pay a ton for it. I think I ended up around 10, 12 bucks. Um, and like I said, it's rough, but I've never had one this far back. So I thought, well, you can see the bindings loose there, but golly. 
I figured somebody around here, we're not too far from Iowa City, and there's a lot of uh, SUI grads around, that's State University of Iowa, um, around the area, and of course around the world for that matter, but somebody should be interested in that for a little bit. Uh, so that's it, that's all I've got uh, for now for flea market finds, you know, hopefully as I come up with uh, new collections, I'll, I'll sure take a video of it, and let you know uh, what we have. Most of this, everything you see here, DVDs will be in the, the eBay store, but if you're in Des Moines, all the books and this other stuff, the paper, a lot of that's going to go in my booth at the Antique Mall because it's all local interest kind of thing or regional interest. So I don't, I don't usually put that online until it's, you know, it's tried to sell here for a few months. Um, anyway, click like, click, click subscribe, check out our other videos, and thanks for watching, guys.